okay so let's solve this problem so what is the value of k so that the terms k minus 3 k plus 1 and 4k minus 2 form a geometric sequence since this one is a geometric sequence so therefore we need to make a ratio of these two consecutive terms so we can have k minus 3 then over k plus 1 then equals this k plus 1 and 4k minus 2 so that's k plus 1 then over 4k minus 2 then to solve 4k so using cross multiplication so we have this k minus 3 times 4k minus 2 so k minus 3 times 4k minus 2 then equals this k plus 1 times k plus 1 so we have k plus 1 times k plus 1 then simplify so using foil method so k times 4k this one is 4k squared then k times negative 2 so negative 2k then negative 3 times 4k that's negative 12k and negative 3 times negative 2 that's positive 6 then the other side so k times k this one is k squared then k times 1 that's k and 1 times k that's positive k then 1 times 1 that's positive 1 then combine like terms so we have this 4k squared then this negative 2k and negative 12k that's negative 14k then plus 6 and the other one so we have k squared then this positive k plus k or 1 plus 1 that's positive 2k then plus 1 then equate this equation to 0 so transpose everything to the left side so we have now 4k squared then minus 4k then plus 6 then this positive k squared becomes negative k squared this positive 2k becomes negative 2k and this positive 1 becomes negative 1 then equals zero then combine like terms so this positive 4k squared and negative k squared so we have 4 minus 1 that's 3 k squared then this negative 14k and negative 2k so negative 14 minus 2 so the same negative you add so copy the sign that's negative 16k and this positive 6 minus 1 so 6 minus 1 that's positive 5 then equals 0 then since this one is a quadratic equation so we're going to solve this equation using this factoring so first we need to write this 3k to both sides of the factors so this one is 3k and this one is 3k then for this positive 5 so multiply this 3 to positive 5 that's positive 15 then we need to list all the factors of this positive 15 since 15 is positive so the factors can be all positive or all negative since the middle term is negative so therefore we're going to use this all negative so these are now the factors of this positive 15 so we can have negative 15 times negative 1 or negative 5 times negative 3 then add all the factors so this negative 15 plus negative 1 this one is negative 16 and negative 5 plus negative 3 that's 
negative 8. Since the middle term is negative 16 and this one is negative 16, so therefore, these are the factors of positive 15. So we have negative 15 and negative 1. Then from the factors, since we can reduce this positive 3 and negative 15, so this one divisible by 3. So therefore, 3 divided by 3, that's 1, so this one is k. Then minus this 15 divided by 3, that's 5. So we have now k minus 5, then times 3k minus 1, then equals 0. So these are the factors of this quadratic equation. Then to solve for k, so equate these factors to 0. So we have now k minus 5 equals 0. And the other one, 3k minus 1 equals 0. So to solve for k, so transpose this negative 5 to this side. So that becomes positive 5. And the other one, so we have 3k equals transpose this negative 1 becomes positive 1. Then divide by 3 both sides. So therefore, k is equal to positive 1 third. So these are the values of k so that the terms k minus 3, k plus 1, and 4k minus 2 is a geometric sequence. So k is equal to 5 and k is equal to positive 1 over 3.